Hey guys, it's Tanaya. I'm going to show you how I edit my videos in iMovie. So you just want to start a new movie. And it's taking a little bit to load. But once it loads, you're going to click simple. And then you're just going to create your title. And you're going to press OK. Alright, so now I just have to find my video. So I'm always in the iPhoto library. And I just find my video clip. And I just drag it on down. And I just delete that default title because I don't really like it. And then I just mute the video because I do my voiceovers. I'm going into my YouTube editing folder and I just have a lot of my transitions and green screen stuff, titles and crap in here. Like video overlays. So I'm dragging this video clip onto the beginning of the video. And this is how I do my intro, you guys. And I'm dragging this picture it just says my name and it's like a green screen overlay so I'm just shortening this I usually like my intro to be about four seconds so I am basically just shortening the video clip and I'm just gonna drag the Tanaya picture on top of it but first you want to change that to a green screen so then you can see the video through the letters and I'm gonna crop it and I choose the fit option so now I'm just going to align the video how I want it and I just play it back and if I like it I just keep it moving. Okay, so the next thing that I'm doing is I'm finding another video overlay. This is for a transition. This is how I get that iPhone transition and I'm just dragging down my subscribe button that I always have in my videos too. So as you can see I definitely took this transition from another YouTuber. You can find her channel in my description box and I just put it in between the splitted clips. And I choose the green screen option and then there you go. So yeah, it's really not that hard. Just make sure that you download it to your computer and choose the green screen option and you have a cool transition. As far as my subscribe button, you choose the picture and picture option and you crop it to fit it so you see the whole picture. And you can put this thing wherever you want in your video. You can pretty much move it around wherever you kind of want. But I like that in the beginning of my video, so I'm just going to drag that over to the front. And another thing, I like to go into the sounds, and I like to use this bottle cork sound. So when you see the subscribe little blur pop up, the sound effect will come as well. So I kind of like to do that. So now I'm just splitting the clips. You kind of just look to see what clips you want and I always make my clips faster than what it is because I try to keep my videos shorter on the shorter side. So just choose that button up top and you can make it twice as fast, four times as fast. It gives you a few options and then I just kind of slow it down or let the video play at its normal speed when I feel that you guys actually need to just see me do it slowly. So you just got to be careful with which parts you speed up and which parts you're going to keep at the normal speed length. Just so like your viewers can really get the full effect of your video and they can really see what you're doing. So I'm just splitting up my clips. So you just right click and click split clip if you want to split your clips on here. And I'm just choosing which scenes I want to use. So I'm just going to split it right there. course like this part is all personal preference so I am just splitting 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 and I'm just continuing to drag that iPhone transition that I showed you guys how to use in the beginning and I'm just dragging that throughout the video so what I do is I mute that video clip and I just split it so I can eliminate where she says give editing credits to and I just split it right to where the green screen part is and then I just put it in the video so I do that for both clips and then just delete clips as you need to. I kind of deleted the transition by accident. So doing the same thing, splitting that clip so I can just use the part that I need for the video and change it to a green screen. And now I'm just trying to see what end part of the video I want to use. So I'm just going to split this up and just kind of see where I want each clip to go. I do a lot of little silly stuff in my videos. <laughs> So yeah, and this is just so you can make your video as short as possible.
So as you guys can see, I'm just splitting the clips and just kind of playing around with the video placement as to what parts of the video I want to keep there. So again, this is all personal preference, so you can just kind of play around with your video and see what you want to do and what works for you and your channel. Okay, so when I'm done finally just cutting everything, I just go back into that folder and I get my end card. This is just basically to promote your social media and just to try to get your viewers to click on your last video. So I'm just cropping them and choosing the fit option. That's my old one, so this is my newer one. So for all my day one subscribers, <laughs> you remember that old one I used to use, now I use a new one. So you want to choose picture in picture when you find your picture you want to use, or you can use a video clip. But i just been kind of lazy and just using a picture lately. And then I'm just dragging over a song that I want to use for the video. So, so when you find your song... If it is not a remix song, just use 30 seconds of it like I'm doing here. I just kind of cut it into 30 seconds because I've been getting some copyright issues with YouTube very recently, which was so freaking annoying because I was using remix songs and they were still flagging it for copyright music. So whatever. So just cut it down to 30 seconds if it's not a remix. And even if it is a remix, maybe you just want to use 30 seconds or just use YouTube music and make your life so much easier. But they just don't have as good options as the remix songs, but whatever. So I'm just cutting the part of the song that I want to use. So basically, I'm just trying to figure out where I want the song to start for the video. And then I just use 30 second pieces of songs throughout my entire video. Okay, so when you have all your songs and it's all split up and everything, whatever, um, now we're just going to do some voice recordings. So that's kind of how, how you're hearing my voice right now. So that's a voiceover. So what you want to do is just press the clip that you're going to use. So you're just going to click on the clip and press the V button on your keyboard. And then that little speaker option should pop up. And then you click it and it'll go one, two, three, and then you start talking. And I usually turn the volume all the way up. So then I go on my channel and I press the upload button. And then you're good to go to upload to YouTube after you save the video. So I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I finally reached 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. And I'll see you guys next time on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Bye.